baby. It's nothing personal. It's just a... It's... I just... I can't do it anymore. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm really sorry. But I, I love you. So, today we have a fun video about a car that everybody probably forgot about. The Pontiac GTP, the Grand Theft Piss. That's right, guys. So, a while ago, we parked it because I got my Integra back. Um, and he's been driving the truck. So, we didn't really need it. It just kind of sat. And then we get a letter in the mail. For a recall for the GTP. Which is funny because it's a 99 getting a recall. And normally, there's a Firebird back there. Normally... Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys this Firebird. It looks like there's a white Firebird coming up, like an like an old one. Yeah, check this out, guys. Wow. Anyways, so we get a recall in the mail, and it's like, hey, you need to recall the whole car, and it didn't say what was wrong didn't say what specific part was getting recalled. All it said was under hood fire. So yeah, there's the GTP. I'm currently driving the truck and he's in the GTP. We're driving it to a uh, GMC dealership right now for the recall. So hopefully they can put new valve covers on it. That way it doesn't set on fire because we did some research and it turns out the valve covers are leaky they leak right onto the exhaust manifolds and that's not good who would have thought so yeah keep you guys updated so basically the goal here is to try to get the GTP to a running and non setting on fire state that way Andy can start driving it around again because the truck is cool the truck is big the truck goes but it just eats fuel and diesel is so expensive and the GTP we can put load test in it and drive all over the place with like 20 miles to the gallon so that's the goal um, gas is expensive Grand Theft Piss is not expensive so yeah hopefully we can get out of the truck park the truck for a while because it just eats gas away but it makes a cool whistle sound Smiles per mile, smiles per mile. All right guys, we're here at Buick to drop off the GTP. To drop off the GTP. Thankfully, Zach came to pick me back up again. That way I can get home. <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn that truck off because it's so damn loud. Hey, turn this off so it's not so damn loud. <laughs> And he left it in drive. He's sitting there leaving it in drive too. What? what? <laughs> All right, guys, the GTP is here for service. And as you guys might know, um, there's a recall for a fire under the hood on these cars. And I got the recall, called GM up. I already did all this. Oh, he, wow, he's just, he's covering all the bases. I already did all this. All the bases. So we're basically here just dropping off a car. Pretty much is what we're doing. Where are you going back, dude? What's that? Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, I guess we're just gonna go drop off the keys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dropping off the Grand Prix. All right, so the Grand Prix, as they like to call the it, Grand the Grand Theft Piss is is over here, ready to rock and roll. Um, it's not due to be here for another week, but I figured I'd just drop it off and get it out of here ahead of time. So we gotta head back to the shop now, get a lot of shit done, and move on to other things. But at least. Um, that car is here and it's going to get fixed and I can start driving it. I was averaging coming down the highway about 28, 29 miles per gallon, guys. So I'm super excited because obviously, you know, this diesel truck, yeah, it just ain't, uh, it ain't kicking it real good with me right now at, uh, you know, 14, 15, 16 miles per gallon. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get the recall I done. I had this talk with him already too. 
<laughs> like I'm on the ball. Like we already had this conversation. We're just gonna go back to the shop. All right, guys, I am back at the freaking shop. Zach ended up going home and uh, yeah. GTP's dropped off at Jones. Hopefully within the next week or so, they'll have that done. We'll have new valve covers, uh, gaskets, or maybe even valve covers on the GTP, which will be freaking awesome. And I'll be able to drive that instead of driving this gigantic, don't get any fuel mileage for crap truck, which I love the Duramax. And I know all you guys love the Duramax too, but it would be nice to put out a few more videos about the GTP because that's always a fun little four door supercharged 3.8 liter car to play around with. Plus it gets 30 miles of the gallon on the highway, which is freaking awesome. I cannot complain about 30 miles on the highway and it usually gets about 24 23 to 24 city driving back and forth maybe 22 but it's definitely a whole lot better than this thing and uh obviously diesel is a lot more expensive than gas right now thank you we all know who you are all right guys it is like a week later since i've dropped off the gtp with zach and we are going to pick up the gtp because they just called and said it's done and it just so happens to be the 15th of June, which just so happens to be Zach's 18th birthday. Cougars, hit me up. Hot moms. Let's Happy birthday to you. Now get the fuck moon out of my house. There's stuff outside. Oh, motherfucker. But anyways, we're going to go pick up the GTP. We got to go get an inspected emissions. Ooh, I love and those And there's old a horses. Porsche 944. I love those old 944? Yeah, yeah, yeah 944. Them. They're junk, too. He doesn't realize that. So. They have two liter engines, a little two liter turbo. Yeah, engine. little four cylinders. Yeah, little four bangers. So yeah, I just got some coffee. Took them off my bank account. <laughs> it's a progressive day so far, guys. Probably gonna play the lottery. He's gonna definitely be playing the lottery. He says he's gonna play the lottery. Or something. Yeah, he definitely wants to buy a scratch off since he's 18. He can legally do that now. I'm just ready for the government to start taking my money. Oh, well, they're gonna take your money, buddy. Don't you worry. They will take it. All right, let's get down the highway and go get the GTP, guys. Except you at GMC Jones. We're pulling into Honda. We're not pulling into Honda. Keep going, Dippy. It's the other one, not that one. The other entrance where the transit's going. Where is my beautiful car? My beautiful GTP Grand Prix. It blew up on the dyno. They probably threw it out. They put a 300 shot of nitrous on it. They're like, why are we doing a, a fire under the hood recall on this piece of shit? The whole damn thing's a fucking fire hazard. What's that knocking in your engine, Zach? Oh my god, where is it? I don't see it. Did they? I wonder if they washed it. <laughs> you think they washed it for me? Is my car welcome here? I don't know. You're in the wrong building. Yeah, Honda's over there. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I guess I'm going to go in here and get my GTP. Ooh, we got our paperwork. We're going to explain this here in a little bit. And there she is, boys. There she is. Don't you hit that beautiful car. Don't you hit that beautiful car. <laughs> I hope you scratch this whole side of your ride. Yeah. Unbelievable. Look at that beautiful back window. They didn't fix that? That's awesome. Oh, it's black. All right, let's see. Oh, they're black. Valve covers. Look at that. Look at that. And the back one. Oh, they only did the front one? The recall's only on the front one. It's not on the back one. Maybe not. I don't know. The back one's definitely not going. All right, so really quick here, there was a safety recall. Hopefully, you guys can see that. There we go. Safety recall for it looks like just the front uh, valve cover gasket. They replaced the rocker arm cover and gasket, retainers, um, some other gasket, maybe a rear gasket as well, possibly. Um, maybe they did replace the rear gasket. I don't know. But anyways, it's all fixed. It's good to go. There's my buddy Grant. <laughs> and he's going to be inspecting the car because it is out of inspection as of 4 of 22. So we definitely got to get that addressed. And I need to find my registration card, which is somewhere in here, somewhere. So I got to find that. We're going to get this thing inspected emissions, make it completely legal. And we have another car. And I think it needs a wheel bearing too, which is no big deal. But uh, let's find that car, get this thing inspected emissions. All right, we're just waiting to make sure it's gonna pass emissions. And uh, obviously, because this is such a well-maintained GTP, it does pass emissions, doesn't it, Grant? My buddy here at K&W, always taking care of me on my emissions inspections. He's a good dude. 
Make sure everything's legal, legal, ready to rock and roll. Had to do my registration while I was here because it was expired. Didn't know that, but it's done now. So he's going to be doing the safety inspection on the car, making sure everything's good to go. And uh, getting me good stickers so this thing can be legally able to drive and I can start saving money on fuel or on gas because I won't be putting fuel on the Duramax anymore. And that was the whole reason for getting this car up and running and ready to rock and roll, guys. Oh, snap. There's one, one down, one to go. Out with the old and with the new. I don't care where you put that damn sticker. You just put it on the car. <laughs> Grant is like the expert at lining up stickers and making them completely, unbelievably even. Look at that. You can't get no better. Look at that. It'll be better when I get the other one on. We got one more to get. That second one's really going to look good. <laughs> this, is, this has been out of inspection emissions for a little bit. <laughs> eh, not that bad. <laughs> I have two emission stickers now. I am, I am. Oh, that's annual emissions. Yeah. Annual windshield sticker. Oh, I thought it's it just, said I am when it says emissions. Yeah, just, that's a weird color, yellow. They all say that I am. Oh, unless, do they? Unless you, oh. A, unless you have a diesel, then you'll... They, I don't have to worry have about that. without the I am. Yeah. I do have a diesel. I do have a diesel. <laughs> also got to give a big shout out to Code Air Inductions. The intake is still on this car. Filter's never been cleaned all these years and it's still acting really, really awesome and looks perfect. Inspection passed. Yeah. Everything's good to go. Surprisingly, yes. Ooh, surprisingly, yes. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh my God, he's trying to attack me. Fucking hilarious. And there's the second one. Look at that, yellow and purple. What shitty ass colors? PA's got their head up their ass or something. <laughs> Hope nobody's a Lakers fan on your, uh, your channel. <laughs> a Lakers fan. Lakers fan. <laughs> They're gonna be like, I want that car. Little mad about you. <laughs> well, passed with flying colors, mainly white and black. Yeah. <laughs> but good to go. Black. We got to pay the bill, and we're getting out of here. Shit, All right, guys, we are on our way back up to the shop to get some work done. The GTP is working great. Sounds like it might need an oil bearing, possibly. Like I said, not a big deal. I'm gonna put some good old, nice, fresh gasoline in her. Um, maybe we'll show you what that costs to fill this thing up. It's a little bit of a, above a quarter tank. Usually my Duramax costs about $140, $130 to fill the entire tank up from empty, and it's only a 26 gallon tank. But I'm gonna show you one big reason, and I did just reset my, uh, my miles per gallon average here, my average economy. But this is one big reason why I love driving this GTP over the Duramax. And that is that right there, guys. My average economy is 32 miles per gallon. And I'm just cruising along at 70 miles an hour, just chilling. That's ranging between 30 and 33 miles a gallon, which I'm really happy about, to be honest. So right now it just went down to 31.5. I give it a little bit of gas. Get a little bit of gas, you see it dropping, so it's working. I don't know how real or accurate it is, but I'm happier with uh, the fake accuracy as opposed to 15 miles a gallon with the Duramax. So let's get to the gas station, let's fill this sucker up, and then uh, hopefully end this video soon. All right, we got some nice fresh 93 fuel going in there. I think the diesel here is $5.99. This is 536 with my discount. So we're gonna see how much it takes. Obviously it's not a 26 gallon tank, so it's not that big of a deal, but we'll see what it takes to fill her up. Well. I think that's all she wants. Nine gallons, look at that. $48. Shit, can't beat that. Dang, $48, nine gallons of gas. That's, and I think this is like a 15 gallon tank. Now, mind you, it already had a little bit over a quarter tank in it. So I'm just putting some nice fresh gas in it is all I'm doing. So it took, you know, so it had six gallons already in it, which ain't bad. But uh, man, so real, realistically, it would probably cost maybe 60 to $70 to fill this, which is still bad, but it's better than 130, 140, that's for sure. All right, guys, we are back at the freaking shop with the GTP. We dropped off the GTP and we're probably, well, we're gonna be using so we're gonna be using the GTP to drive and we put the truck away. The truck is now gonna be sitting 
mainly because of the fact that this gets better gas mileage and we need to you know do something to make you know have better gas mileage so i've decided to let the truck sit for a while um if i need it i can always come here to the shop and get it if i don't need it obviously i can just get my 30 miles a gallon highway my gtp which is awesome a few little things odds and ends uh, odds and end things that we need to figure out on this uh, car and uh nothing crazy very simple little things um get them all figured out and maybe we'll even possibly add another mod to this car in the future i've got to got to talk to somebody first before i do so but there might be a mod that i might be adding to this gtp which will increase the horsepower substantially by a lot but we'll see how that goes in the future guys other than that if you enjoyed the video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe instagram diablo formula racing and deuces guys